and welcome to the Czech Republic. I am here in Prague. This is the one I've been most looking forward to. I am so keen to explore this city. Today is a jam-packed day, so I'm gonna get through some of the first few monuments really, really quickly. I've got a tour of the Prague Castle, which I cannot wait for. First up today, though, is the Powder Gates. Let's go. So behind me is the Powdered Gate here in Prague, built in 1475, a mere 550 years ago. The reason it got the name Powder Gate, well, it was used as a gun storage facility. Nowadays, it is used as the starting point for the coronation to Prague Castle. We don't have time to hang around though, so off to the next monument, let's go. Church behind me, it is a old gothic church here in Old Town Prague. I've been lucky to be well traveled around Europe at this point. It's up there with some of the most aesthetically pleasing churches. Built in the 14th century, this building is still standing. We'll be heading into that church later today, but I don't have time at the moment. I've got to keep walking and head to this one, which is right next to me here in Old Town. That is the astronomical clock. Built in 1410, that makes this the oldest still standing astronomical clock in all of Europe. Despite it being over 600 years old, two thirds of the original building is still standing and in operation of the clock. It did have a $9 million redevelopment back in 2018, and that was for about a third of the clock that was starting to deteriorate. But the fact that two thirds of that is original and over 600 years old, it is honestly breathtaking. Astronomical clock, the Powder Gate Tower, Miss Church, I'm not gonna try and name again. All three done, and now for the big one, I am heading on a tour of Prague Castle. Let's go. I did my research on Prague because I've wanted to come here for a very long time, but that certainly wasn't on the list and I have no idea what that was. So I am currently walking on the main bridge, M-A-N-E, to get to Prague Castle. The most famous and well-known bridge here in Prague is actually the one just next to me. Right there. And that bridge is known as Charles Bridge. I did walk across it first thing when I arrived in Prague late last night. Built in 1357, it is the oldest still standing bridge here in Prague. Oh man, I'm not ready for this. Let's go. Besides figuring out that I am super unfit, it is a lovely day here in Prague. The weather is gorgeous. Okay. So because I'm a short ass, I can't I can't see over this wall. So whatever you guys are about to see, I'm gonna see on the edit for the first time. I don't know what you just saw, but I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna add it, whether it's good or bad, it doesn't matter. I was not prepared for that walk at all. But at least, at least it was worth it because that view, oh my God. I'm like a little kid at Christmas. This place is stunning. Right, I'm so keen for my tour. Let's go.
and that is the first half of Pride Castle done. OMG. No words, speechless. I know I've said I've been speechless like five times while in Prague already, but there's simply no words to describe for me personally how amazing and stunning that entire area is. It is now almost, it is 11.55 a.m. In five minutes, we do have the changing of the guard at the front gate, so let's check it out. is the changing of the guards here completed. That was quite good. Nowhere near as many people as the one in London either. It's always much more pleasant when uh, there's less of a crowd. It's just after 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Time to do more sightseeing here at Prague Castle and then probably get some lunch after that. Let's go. They loved their stairs here in Europe. Oh my God. This place is stunning. Yeah, I to Vienna? Yeah. yeah uh, I that's, that is lucky because I didn't say that on Google. 2 30. Time for a boat cruise along the Prague River. Let's go. And a beer. Thank you. Thank you. Morning and welcome to day two here in Prague. I was planning on going out of the city today and doing a tour, but the two or three places that I was looking at, they were actually shut. They've been abandoned or whatever else. And um, then the other thing was for a couple of the places, public transport there was quite difficult as well. So I've decided against that. So plan B for today is the Jewish Quarter. It's about, I don't know where my phone is, but it's about 8.30 in the morning. So just had breakfast, let's, uh, let's go get it. Woo! We have made it to the Jewish Quarter and the first stop is the Franz Kafka Monument. Interestingly, Franz Kafka is known and recognised as arguably one of the most important writers in the 20th century. But what's quite interesting to that is, unfortunately, 90% of his work was never actually read by the broad public, as it was burnt in a fire. Most people never got to actually read what he wrote. Which is crazy to think about that one of the most important writers of the 20th century, only 10% of his work actually ever became public. And um, that's just so crazy to think about what could have possibly have been in that other 90%. That is place number one done for day two. Let's go. Tell you what, some of these buildings are absolutely stunning. Check these out. Oh my god, check out this street. Handy tip for anyone that does travel, do not be tricked by the 0% money exchange places. And they are everywhere. Just because they don't charge any commission and they advertise it as 0%, the actual rate that you're getting is terrible. I cannot emphasize how bad it is. So make sure I, I've used card everywhere, I haven't needed cash, um, but if you do decide that you need cash for whatever reason, do go and get that converted back at home before you travel, anywhere in the world. It's going to be much better than doing it where you are, I promise you that. I'm not going to go inside, but I am currently at the front of the Pincus Synagogue, I believe it is, and if it's not pronounced like that, I do apologise, it's just how Google has told me to pronounce it, but... I do believe that there are six synagogues here in the Jewish quarter here in Prague, which is uh, quite impressive because I did only see the one in Krakow, Poland. So to have six in a 
small area is um, quite impressive. Next on the list of things to do today, I have had this square on the list of things to do for months now, way before I left for this trip. But the problem is, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. So I'm just gonna show you. So if you guys have any idea, fantastic. You can like spell it out for me in the comments or whatever, but I ain't even gonna try and pronounce that one. All right, well, that's a tad annoying. The place we were going to is right there where the red building is. That red building is, uh, is not supposed to be there, but it's temporary because they are doing works on the entire square. So the couple statues that are in there, we currently cannot see. The entire section is blocked off. That's disappointing. I wish we built new buildings the way we did hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Absolutely stunning. So, so far here in Prague, the, it has been amazing. I've loved all of it. The only thing, and the one and only thing that I have been disappointed about, which in the grand scheme of things isn't that big of a deal. The entire city center of Prague is a no drone zone, which is really annoying because it means I can't fly my drone and get all the aerial footage that I was hoping for. If that, honestly, if that is my biggest issue here, then I can't really complain. All the people are super friendly. Everyone seems to be in a good mood. I am now heading back to the room really quickly to, to have a quick shower, get changed, and then potentially head out for the rest of the night. Morning, everyone. It, it is the next day here in Prague. Today is gonna to be a really, really crazy relaxing day. I've been away now for nine weeks, so gonna just try and have a crazy day um, with some family as well. So just gonna walk around the city, um, do the National Library and a couple of things like that. But I'll add in some of the highlights now. So let's go. Oh. 